Welcome back to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. It's been a little while since I've played, not because I haven't wanted to play, this game is absolutely incredible so far, but because I've been sick recently. So my voice is still not 100%, so excuse any coughing fits or any weird nose whistles or anything of the sort, but I'll do my best. So we return once again here, just to remind you, at this kind of sacrifice place, if you want to call it that. The last thing we saw was what happened here with, I believe his name is Chad, if I remember correctly. And then Ethan, and Ethan's... pretty much, like, everybody was here almost, actually, now that I think about it. And I remember the last thing that Ethan said was that he needs to get into the mine. I think he asked the dad for the key, but the dad did not have the key, so Ethan said, alright, I'll just use the, the tunnel near the gate. So the next thing I'm going to hit is probably the mine somewhere up there. And since I don't have the key, I'm probably going to have to use the tunnel, wherever that is. So, let's go look for it. Oh yeah, I should also mention that I believe it was in episode 2 that I I found a note mentioning the launch. It was like a newspaper clipping men mentioning the launch of a NASA satellite called the ATS-6. And I was going to look up when that was, la uh, when that was launched. Because I realized that I don't actually know what year this game is set in. And I was going to look that up, and then in the third episode I completely forgot, but I actually looked it up this time. It turns out it was it was a real satellite, for one. It is actually real. And it was launched in 1978. Or, sorry, 1974. So, assuming that that event is current, then this game is set at around 1974. Now, I'm not sure if the date that this game takes place in is supposed to be something that's hidden. I don't know if they're trying to hide it, or if I just missed it from other newspaper clippings and whatnot, but yeah, it gives us some sort of an anchor point. Oh yeah, I also disabled motion blur, by the way, so it should look a little bit better when I move my view around quickly. Hopefully. It certainly looks better to me. I'm not sure how it looks after compression on YouTube. Actually makes the game look even more beautiful. Ooh, does this go somewhere? I don't think it does, actually. But let's try. Mmm, pine needles in my face. Branches in my face. This is a very rough road. I mean, it looks wide enough for a car, but you would not want to drive a car across this. Look at these rocks. You need a serious, like, 4x4 four four off-roading vehicle for this. Hmm, what happened to these trees here? Some of them are completely bare. Doesn't look like they were logged. What did happen to them? Some are completely dead, others are perfectly fine. Hold on, what's... Alright, so I can keep going that direction really far, so let's see what's over here. Birds! I love the nature sounds. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I'd really like to know what happened to these trees. It's very strange. I mean, I... I would expect all of them to be wrecked, or, like, none of them. I'm trying to think of what would cause that. Are there natural events that would cause that? Like, uh, a forest fire? Hmm, I don't know. What, is it, what does a forest fire look like after a certain amount of time? I, I don't know. It depends how it burns. How would it look a couple years after? Would some trees be okay and some not? Uh, I don't know. I think this actually goes anywhere. Nah. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like there's something here, though. It's... Alcovey, if that's the right word.
Look at those cloud encircled mountains. What do the dead have to say? You'd be surprised by how little they know. The dead can't explain what it means to be dead. They walk downstairs that disappear beneath their feet, headed for some bright blade of memory they'll never reach. Is this a fork in the road? Hmm. Which way? Left, right? Let's go left. Man, look at how these stones tower over you. A wonderful sense of scale. Oh, can you imagine this game with, you know, a finished, well-polished virtual reality headset? Oculus Rift or whatever happens to, uh, you know, turn out really well once we get nice consumer versions going on. This game would be amazing. I mean, it'd be extra amazing with that. It's already amazing. Even with just a plain 2D monitor. Ooh. Hello, what is that? That shows up from really far away. Enter. Whoa, is that... Is that the pathway? That Ethan mentioned to uh, get into the mines? Well, let's not go in there yet. Let's keep going on down here. See if there's a gate. Oh, that's a gate, isn't it? Oh, yep. Yep, so I think that back there is Ethan's special little entrance to the mines. Let's just let's just take a moment here to appreciate the rocks on the ground. Mmm. Beautiful. That's an ominous noise coming from there. Deep and rumbly. Five five zero something something. Genuine brass. I think it says. All right. Well, we know where we need to go, but let's check out this little house over here. Well, it's not a house, it's a little building over here. And then also, also this pathway. Which is probably just going to lead back up to where I came from, but... Still. Oh, wait, where does that go? So that goes back up where I came from, obviously. Yeah. Or wait, does that... Or does that go back where I came from? Are there two ways to get to the same way at the... At the... Wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so it splits off two ways. So, what's down here? Oh, that view. Is that the bridge I originally went on? 
That very first bridge? I'm trying to think of where I actually went. I went across the bridge. And then there's a the rail car over there. And then there's the dam over there, right? So yeah, actually, I think that is the bridge. Yeah, I don't believe I've been here. Maybe just links up to back to where I... Oh, wait, yeah, I saw a tunnel down this way from the uh, the place after the big bridge, right? The little town after the big bridge. If you continued on down the pathway, there was this little pass here, I believe. And then I don't think I ever actually went here. I believe that's going to link up. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, I should link back up with the bridge. I've stepped through too many portals. Been present in too many worlds simultaneously. Bits and pieces of me stay on the other side, waiting. Whenever I return, I bring parts of those worlds back. Do you know what ghosts are? They're sad, evicted things. Memories without homes. Yeah, it just links back up with that little town place. Well, it's not really a town. I guess you can call it a settlement. Don't even know if it qualifies as that, honestly. Let's see if I can spin in a circle while I run. I'm probably making people motion sick right now, but oh, it's working. Okay, I'm going to stop now. <laughs> Alright, let's venture into the mines. This place is very dark. And it has an ominous growl to it that the sound of distant reverberating wind. Or whatever it is that makes that cavernous sound. Okay, let's go deeper. I always have an exit, right there. Nothing will go wrong in here, surely. No. I just noticed everything at the edge of my view has a, like, orangish, reddish tint. You notice that? Look, like, look at these rocks right in front of me. They're totally gray. Now they're, like, orange. Can 
Okay, let's hope the thing has power. Let's keep looking this way, though. Okay, we're going down. Oh my. I think I can see the fog at the bottom of this shaft. This is a very long shaft. Lots of dead ends. Actually reminds me of Penumbra, the Penumbra series, you know, being stuck underground in areas where excavations have been, have been happening. This place is creepy. Yeah, missing pickaxe. I'm sure it wasn't used to murder somebody, right? No. Darkness. Darkness. Nothing but darkness. I, I literally can't see anything. Well, okay, I see something. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, it looks like it's stuck in the wall. That or it's underwater. Yeah, it looks like it's stuck in the wall probably somewhere. Uh, probably stuck in the wall somewhere in the dark. I'm not going to find anything there. Hmm. There's water down here. I guess it could be in the water as well. Oh, did this... Oh, my. Okay, this place flooded. Yeah, was she killed and then drowned, or drowned to death? Need to put everything back in place, of course. The lock is all messed up. I guess somebody jammed it so that it couldn't be opened? Well, that would imply that she was drowned to death, otherwise there'd be no reason to do that. If she was dead, there's no way she was going to get out. Can I make it go higher? Oh, I can. I'm not sure what the use of that is, but uh, there you go. Why did I just do that? I 
Actually, that might be important. Perhaps she was killed up there or something. Yeah, it might be important for reconstructing the scene, actually. Now that I think about it. I wish I had a torch. Can I have an amnesia torch? I want an amnesia torch. Just one with unlimited oil. No, I'm sure that's something they probably very specifically wanted to avoid, because then people would make the obvious, uh, you know, it'd be too much like amnesia. this thing. Though probably not very far, given this. This pile of rubbish. Ooh, it works. It's got a nice light, too. Not sure how fast this thing can accelerate, but if I go all the way back and then accelerate as much as possible, can I blow through this thing? <coughs> Excuse me, can I blow through this thing? There's no way I'm going fast enough. Oh! Never mind. That did not feel very fast. I felt like 15 miles per hour, maybe? Okay, cool. Well then. Did these flippy dippy things actually work? I have no idea what they're called. I don't know, the train track flip thing to make the train go on the other tracky thing. Let's see if they work. I guess not. Alright, I guess that's not something they want you to manage. I guess it's not Half-Life. Wasn't that a thing in Half-Life, the original, I think? Was there a train section where you had to, like, flip the train? Or, I think you had to shoot. Yeah, of course, because, like, the only verb in, in Half-Life is to shoot stuff. I think you, like, shot the little things and it made them flip around and made your train go onto a different track or something. Well, not train, the uh, tram or whatever. Anyway. Alright, so I'm guessing if I keep going forwards, I'm probably going to come around, loop around, and go down this dark tunnel, which will illuminate the tunnel and allow me to see where stuff is, and then everything will be happy. So if it's in the light, then it automatically shows up. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm just going to leave that thing running. I know it's not very green. It's not very green. It's bad for the environment. I'm sorry. Oh my god. That's a freaking power box. Somebody jammed a piece of metal into a power box? That is not a good idea. Okay, well, it's, uh, it's not actually bloody, which is surprising. Well, I know where to put that to put it back, obviously. Creepy dark place. Let's leave.
This track seems to go on for a very long time. Ooh, goes deeper. Jesus, this goes really deep. It keeps going down. I wonder why there's no water down here, though. Hmm. God, can we please not keep going down? Please. Please, I don't want to keep going down. Oh my god. I don't think I'm supposed to go here yet. If this warning stands, walk no further. If this warning stands, our ritual failed. If this warning stands, the sea thing gate remains sealed. Okay, please tell me that's a fantasy thing from Ethan. I don't... I don't think I should keep going. I'm assuming that's saying this is where I am? You are here? X marks the pole. Alright, I'm going up. I'm pretty sure what I need to solve the scene up here is not down here. Because it seems like everything is fairly localized to wherever the scene is. fumes over there or something. Hold on, I think this is the end. What if I slam this full speed? Oh, it just stops. <laughs> Alright. It's alright, it's been child-proofed. Understandable. A fucking acid bath? I don't think I'm going in that. Can, can I? Okay, okay, apparently I actually can walk in that. I don't actually know what this is. Is this like a sulfur spring or something? Okay, let's try and let's try avoiding the probably nasty stuff.
You know what suck right now? The amnesia water monster. feel two kinds of darkness here in Red Creek Valley. The first you walked into, and with any luck, walked out of. But the other darkness was deeper, stickier, uh, unknowable, and it wanted me to leave. That goes outside. Now I'm down here. I'm at the base of this dam. Oh, there's a bunch of buildings here, a bunch of them. Crap, okay, so... Hmm. D does that mean I already have everything I need to solve the, the scene back there? Like, maybe I didn't really need much at all. Maybe I just needed the pick. Pickaxe? Nah, there's gotta be more to it, right? Maybe I can use the pickaxe to open up the... Hmm. Maybe I can use the pickaxe to open up the cage and then maybe ride it up with the body. I mean... I, I don't... I don't I'm, I'm kind of stuck here. I'm troubled here because I don't know where to go, like, there's lots of ways to go, but I'm trying to figure, I keep trying to divine what the, the intended pathway is so I can go everywhere else first, right? But I don't know where the intended pathway is. Is it here, or is it deeper down into the mines? It's probably deeper into the mines, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna explore up here, and then I'll go back into the mines later. see stuff in there. I want to go in there. This looks like it's just open. Yeah, the door's just open. Ah, oh, listen to that acoustic modeling. somewhere in the house. Oh, next to a bloodstain. Well, that is suggestive of what it was used for. Alright.
It doesn't actually have any blood on it. Which is weird. Yeah, he's just dead. There's no blood trail. I didn't, like, run away. Just died right here. Taken. Well, he was—he was stabbed in the throat. Perhaps he was stabbed with a pen or something. Hmm. <laughs> Scissors. Okay, it's on a spool of wire in a shack. Or oh wait, that's the bottom. That's the um elevator at the bottom of the elevator. Shaft? I don't know if you can really call it shaft. I suppose so. Yep. Ooh, what's this? Oh, the door. Oh, the, yeah, the axe was used on the door. That's why it has no blood. It wasn't used to kill him. The scissors were used to kill him, I guess. From the inside, from the outside. Probably from the outside. Alright, let's go get the scissors. if I could ride this thing up, because I remember the control panel at the top was broken, but perhaps it's not broken down here. Ah, indeed it's not. Okay, this doesn't have blood on it either, though. Was it taken just to cut this wire or rope? I actually don't know if that's wire or rope. Well, if it's wire, I don't think you can really cut it with scissors. I mean, that's the... Oh, it's gotta... Yeah, it's gotta be a rope, because that's the same stuff used for this. Used to repair the broken part of the guardrail. Hmm. Gotta keep an eye out for that rope. Oh, wait. Let me put the axe back in place. Alright, see if that's enough. Yes. Again. It's a nasty wound you've got in your chest. I'm trying to remember his name. Oh, Travis. It's Travis. I, I can't remember the father's name, though. I know Ed is the grandfather. Ethan's the kid. That's Travis. I think Chad was the uncle, the guy that was killed with the, the knife. He's, he's on the offering table back there in the crypts. Wait, so maybe he did stab himself. 
he killed himself instead of getting killed by Travis? Or... something? Let's go see what happened outside. There's the last one. Further back here? Ah. Hmm. Alright, so the dad has the axe now. So is this how it started and Travis was able to wrestle the axe out of his hand? Let's go with that. Let's, yeah, let's assume that. We tried to ambush him. I guess he... Travis ended up getting the axe. I mean, these seem to logically follow. I mean, it's... I feel like there's gotta be something more to this, because it seems like it's just... The way it's spatially laid out is the order it happened. Ambushed him, took the axe, came up here, chased him all the way here. You know, the dad tried to close the door to keep him out, but of course he just bashed it down with the axe, finally met him here, and then I, I guess he stabbed himself with the scissors? That seems too easy, though. Let's see if this works. Whoa! Camera went through the ground or something. Where's my mother? Why are you standing in the sleeper's way? She had an accident. Travis, put down the axe. An accident. I didn't want her to get hurt. We're all so sick. You know, since Ethan found that room. Where's Ethan, goddammit? Talk to me! Okay? Okay! He wants to burn Vandegrift's room. Look, Travis, just... Just, just leave me alone! Oh, God. Oh, God! The sleeper chooses vessels. You know that? To enact his wishes? He chose Mom. He chose me. Son, I don't want to hurt you. You think scissors are going to save you? Yes. It didn't have to be this way. You could have helped the sleeper. Helped us. But Mom's right. You're a coward, and you'll be meeting Ethan again soon. He killed himself rather than be the sleeper's pawn. Let's go chase the, the spirit. So yeah, he, uh, Dale... Or Travis mentioned that. But Travis said to Dale, like, where you know, where's my mother? So I think Dale was actually trying to help Ethan, because the last thing Ethan mentioned to Dale when they were in the, the crypts is keep mom away from me. You know, she's sick or something like that. So it sounds like Dale actually was trying to keep Ethan's mother away from him. Ah, that's opened. Where did you go? There you are. You disturbed it, not me. Travis, we can get rid of it. I know exactly what we're up against. Don't listen to what's in your head. This sleeper was feeding on them. 
Their hate, their distrust. Ethan's father figured suicide wouldn't feed it, but it did. I could feel it sitting somewhere out there, fat as a bullfrog, digesting. What does it do? Eat spirits? Eat their souls? Close behind me. Can lock and unlock it? Hmm. That's neat and a little bit disturbing because it makes me think I might have to lock myself in here or something. Let's not think about that. <laughs> Alright. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. The mystery gets even deeper. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.